Mango makes it easy for you to customize the appearance and layout of your maps. In this video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can add a custom sidebar to your map and also customize the layout of the pop-up windows that are displayed when you click on a location uh, within your map. Uh, so let's begin by adding uh, a custom pop-up window. The map that you see on screen is the map that we've created in the previous two video tutorials. As with the previous video tutorials, uh, you can follow this tutorial yourself using our interactive setup guide that will guide you through the process and provide you with all of the uh, data and information you need in order to build the map that you see on screen. Okay, so let's begin by customizing the pop-up window of the dealer locations that we can see on screen at the moment. Um, in order to customize the pop-up, we first click on the layers panel and we're going to choose to edit the dealer locations layer. Once the settings panel is open, we can go to uh, the pop-up tab. And from here, we have various options, basic, custom, input form, calculator, or the ability to disable the pop-ups altogether. So we want to use the uh, custom pop-up. So we're going to hit the settings button here. Uh, the information panel here gives you an editor where you can edit the content of the pop-up. And what you see on the right-hand side is a preview that will show you what the pop-up will look like when it's complete. The first thing that we want to add is the name. So to add the name, we can either type in free text or we can use uh, an attribute within the data set. So we're going to choose the name column for the header. Um, now that I've added name, you can see in the preview here that the name um, has been added uh, to the top bar. And then the second thing that we can do is we can customize uh, the content uh, of the pop up here. So we can do it in the same way. We can, it's the same as building an email. So we could say, for example, address. If I wanted to make that bold, I could just uh, select it, make it bold. And then below, we could insert the address by going to attribute, selecting the address property. Okay, and now we see the preview on the left here. We have address, um, and then we have the address field below. We can also do other things. We can add tables, charts, videos, and images. Um, so let's take a look at adding an image. So we're gonna add an image um, in our attribute table. There's a link to a photo. So I'm gonna press insert and add that to the map. And we can now see that we have a custom pop-up window that has the address and the photo below. Once we're happy with the way that the uh, pop-up window looks, we can press save and we press save again here. Once the map's been loaded, we can click on one of our dealer locations and we will now see the customized pop-up. So we can see here, um, the Acme store in Lubbock and we can see uh, the address for that location. So that's how we customize the pop-ups. It's also possible to add a custom information panel or sidebar to your map that can contain inf additional information that might be of use to your users. Um, to do this we click on the settings panel, we then choose map layout, I'm going to select a medium sized layout and once again we can uh, we can create content in here. The content can contain text, images, videos, uh, charts, and tables. Now I'm gonna paste in some content I made earlier. So here we have it in the editor, and now I'm gonna press save. And once the map's saved, we now see that we have this custom information panel on the right-hand side that's a mixture of uh, text, links, uh, images, tables, and videos. Okay, so that's how we make a custom info window. It's also possible for us to add a navigation bar to the map in order for us to navigate between our map and perhaps our website or other maps. So let me show you how that works. We click on settings. And then from here we click on navigation. We enable the custom navigation bar. And as you can see, there's a whole range of options. Uh, you can have a welcome message that pops up when the map loads. Uh, you can have a terms and conditions pop up that a user must uh, accept before they can access the map. Um, for this tutorial, let's just add a simple link back to our homepage. So we'll have the text for the link say homepage, and it will link back to the Acme website. So I'll press save. And we now see that we have our navigation menu up here. And if I click on the homepage link, a new tab will be opened in my browser, and it will direct us um, across to the website that we've included uh, within the link, which is the Acme website here. So as you can see, Mango gives you a lot of configuration options in order to personalize your map and really make your map your own. Um, so after this tutorial, I encourage you to go into the setup guide and, and try recreating this map for yourself or even using your own data and experimenting with the various customization options. 
Thanks for watching.